Hey everybody, welcome back to the Slick Shifts YouTube channel. Today is Boat Project Part 3 and we're going to be knocking out the Alpha 1 Gen 2 outdrive on the back of the boat. As well as we're going to be cleaning the boat and I'm going to show you guys a few tips and tricks how we did that for cheap. As well as installing our newly reupholstered seats. They turned out awesome and I'm really excited about that because I finally got some room in my garage. I just wanted to show you guys a quick little before and after of just the inside of the boat and how big of a difference this makes because if you guys can do this at home and save a lot of money, it almost looks brand new. If you guys were watching our last video, you would see that we installed a 454 Burr Cruiser in our boat project. Uh, it wasn't too hard, it turned out really good, it sounded awesome and this is my first boat motor swap so it was just awesome to see it run. Now the whole point of this channel is, if you saw our earlier videos when we first started, we did a bobber project and we sold that bike to buy this boat and we're just going to see how far we can work up. So the whole point of this project is to sell the boat and get another project to work on and we're going to document the entire process. But I did promise you guys I would be knocking out the back of the boat in the last video. There is a link in the description for the paint I'm using. You can get it at any O'Reilly Auto Parts store, anything like that. It is a saltwater anti-corrosive paint. I'm going to show you guys a quick before and after right here. Now that the back of the boat's knocked out, we can finally focus on the outdrive. It is a Merc Cruiser Alpha 1 Gen 2 outdrive. And I'm finally, I'm just so excited to get this thing knocked out because it's been sitting on my garage floor for about three months. This project has taken a long time. But as you can see, there is a lot of surface corrosion and to knock that out, I used a wire wheel on the end of a drill and that took off almost all the surface corrosion, any huge things on it. And as you can see right here, I didn't know what these were because I've never dealt with a boat before, but apparently it's barnacles and they came off really easily with the drill. It was the equivalent of having rice super glued on there and I was surprised how well it came off. After I got the surface corrosion off, I went ahead and degreased it and I started throwing a few coats of paint on there. The paint went on really well, but if I were to do it again, here's my advice to you guys. I would use a primer sealer and then I would use this paint over it. I do have a link in the description for the paint I'm using. It is the same exact paint as I use on the back of the boat. Saltwater resistant, anti-corrosive, great paint. It's about eight bucks a can. Now this is just after one coat. I did put about four coats on there and I wasn't too happy about the first coat, but I knew with more coats, obviously it would start to look better. Next step after completing the paint, I'm gonna go ahead and install new anodes. And I had no idea what an anode is, so I went ahead and Googled it, because I wanted to show you guys what I learned. Pretty much it's a sacrificial plate that'll take all the corrosion from the body of the outdrive and will drive it to that anode. So all the corrosion will go to that anode. And as you guys can see, it was really corroded. You guys will see the old one right here. If you guys learned something from the video, go ahead and uh, give me a comment down below or give me a subscribe. Taking the anode off was probably the easiest thing I've done on the boat thus far. All it was was two mounting bolts and this is just me replacing the top anode. There is one more bottom anode and that's just one bolt. If you guys want the same anode kit online, I am going to include a link down in the description. It's not that expensive and they also have the anodes that go on the boat as well. After the paint laid on and I got the anodes on for the boat, I went ahead and ordered these decals right here. There will be a link in the description for those as well. You can just slap those on and it almost makes your outdrive look brand new. The difference it makes is just awesome. Here's a quick little before for you guys for the outdrive going on the boat and an after. After the outdrive was completed for the boat, I went ahead and slapped it on the boat and did a little ops check on it. Trim work, 
Now let's see if it actually works. Now that the outdrive is on working, we're going to focus on cleaning the boat. I picked up this toilet bowl cleaner for $3. Scrub brush for $1. As well as some magic erasers for $2. I got all this at the dollar store. Super cheap, super effective. You can't go wrong with it. The process is pretty simple. You're basically just going to take your toilet bowl cleaner, spray it on your boat, go ahead and scrub it. And it's going to be very tedious. And I do not recommend wearing a shirt you like because the bleach will get on the shirt and it will ruin your shirt. I did a little before and after with a piece of tape right here on the right sides after. You guys can just see how nasty this bow was and what a difference it made. Now that's just one part of the boat and that took me, I would say that took me, it was my first time doing it, about 45 minutes just for that little corner of the boat. I'm going to show you guys a quick before and after while I'm scrubbing the engine hatch. Now the process here is super simple. Like I said, spray the toilet bowl cleaner on there, scrub it around, let the bleach work, let the chemicals work. It's as simple as spray, scrub, rinse, repeat. And after you're done with all that, you're just going to take your magic eraser and any little spots you missed or spots that didn't come off, take that magic eraser, scrub it, and it should come off. Like I said before, the process is really tedious, but it is simple and it's cheap. So if you guys have the willpower, go ahead and knock it out. Now that we got all the junk and grease cleaned up out of the boat, it's finally time to install the new seats in the boat. Now, for you guys watching at home, if you do want to save money, I highly re recommend taking the seats out yourself. It's not hard. All it is is a flat washer and a nut. Now, the reason I'm sharing you guys this information is because it saved me about $1,000. If I were to take my boat to the shop, they were going to charge me $1,000 more compared to if I brought my seats to the shop. So moral of the story is take the seats out. Thanks for watching Boat Project Part 3. I hope you guys got something out of the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below what you learned. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.